Hello everyone. Welcome to your parent child toddler yoga class. My name is Brooke and I'll be guiding you through this uh, child light yoga curriculum for children ages 18 to 36 months. So this is time to to the class. One of the most common questions I get from parents is, I think my child's too young for toddler yoga or uh, you know, my child doesn't have the attention span or um, oh, they're too active, they won't sit still for a class. Um, these are all very common questions and concerns I get from parents. Um, and my response to that is that if you can breathe, you can do yoga. Uh, that's pretty much the only requirement of this class. Uh, all that I really ask of parents and the reason that this is a parent-child class is because it's an opportunity for you to connect with your child and to get some yoga yourself uh, and to model the poses that are being taught in the class. Um, I use a lot of singing and props, uh, visuals to engage kids and um, it's perfectly normal for your child to wander around the room and engage for some of the class or lose their attention. Um, but the, the idea behind this class is that it will increase their attention span. It will be an opportunity for you to connect with your child. It will help with their balance and their gross motor skills. It will help with the, their language skills and their cognitive development uh, through the singing and the repetition and the play and uh, body awareness through the singing and movement. So, um, so all of those concerns are really normal and um, all you really have to do for this class is have fun. So um, thanks for tuning in. And for this class, all you really need is um, a mat if you have it or you can use just a, a comfortable surface. So maybe a, a carpeted floor uh, is, is perfectly fine if you don't have a mat. Um, and then towards the end of the class, we'll be doing a little balancing activity. Um, I have bean bags, but if you don't have bean bags, that's perfectly okay. You can use a stuffed animal or anything else that's lightly weighted. I mean, this is, this is very light. So, um, and you don't really need it. You can do the activity without as well. Um, so yeah, so we'll just give it a, a couple more minutes and then we'll get started. So we'll start the class in a nice, comfortable seated position. And to get your child's attention, I'm gonna ring the chime. This is a nice centering activity. It'll get your child's attention and let them know that this is the start of a yoga class. Hello there, this is the yoga way. To greet our friends, we say namaste. Hello there, this is the yoga way. To greet our friends, we say namaste. Namaste, everyone. Okay, and we're gonna bring our feet out in front of us feet and legs out in front of us. We're gonna reach our arms up to the sky and touch our toes. Again, ready, inhale. Arms up to the sky and touch your toes. Okay, one more time, ready? Arms up to the sky 
and touch your toes. Okay, and we're gonna do a little wake up song to wake up our body. So we're gonna start with our toes. Wake up toes, wake up toes, wake up toes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up legs, wake up legs. Wake up legs and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up arms, wake up arms. Wake up arms and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up me, all of me. Wake up me and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Very good. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Ready? Let's start with our toes. Wake up toes, wake up toes, wake up toes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up legs, wake up legs, wake up legs. Wake up legs and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up arms, wake up arms, wake up arms and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up me, all of me. Wake up me and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Very good, everyone. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna cross our legs. We're just gonna do some light twisting. Ready? Twisting, 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 twisting. Ah, oh, very good. Okay, now we're gonna take our right hand, put it down by our side for support, and we're gonna take our left arm, and reach it up and over, inhale, up and over, up, up and away, half moon, up, up and away, half moon, up, up and away, half moon. Very nice, let's switch sides, ready? Up, up, and away, half moon. Up, up, and away, half moon. Up, up, and away, half moon. Very nice. All right, now we're going to stretch our legs out. We're going to bend our left knee, and we're going to put our hands behind this for support. We're going to point our toes and kick them up to the sky. And you can you can assist or you can help yourself by lifting your leg up with one hand. Like this. Toes to the sky. 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 Beautiful. All right, let's switch sides, ready? Toes to the sky. Toes to the sky. Toes to the sky. Toes to the sky. Beautiful. Okay, this next one. What is this? It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. We're going to do our butterfly pose. So for this, we're going to bring our feet together. Like this. And we're going to cross our thumbs so that our palms are facing us. Like this. Right. We're gonna flap our butterfly wings. And I have a song to go with it. it goes like this. I'm a little butterfly, light and free. I have wings like a fairy. Can you count the flowers that I see? Close your eyes and try with me. Okay, let's smell the flowers. Ready? One. Do that one more time, one more time. I'm a little butterfly, light 
Now we're going to stand up. These next couple poses. So we're going to start with some jumping. So for this one, if your child is still learning how to jump and they need some help, you can assist them by going behind them and bend your knees and mind your back. Just keep your chest up and you can reach under their arms or by their ribs and just lightly lift them up. Okay? Ready? Bend your knees and jump. 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 Very good. Nice jumping, everyone. Okay, now we're going to spread our arms and our legs out like a star and rock side to side. And sing twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. One more time. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, Go, little star, how I wonder what you are. Beautiful. Nice job, everyone. Okay, now we're going to do some spinning. So we're going to stay in the same position. We're just going to go around and around. Spinning, 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 like a top. Like a top, spinning, 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 spinning. Time to stop. Time to stop. Good job. Nice listening, everyone. Okay, we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to switch directions so we don't get dizzy. Okay, one more time. Ready? Spinning, 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 spinning. Like a top, like a top, spinning, 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 spinning. Time to stop, time to stop. Nice job, everyone. Good listening. Now we're going to get into our tree pose. So for this one, you can either assist your child into tree pose or you can model it for them, whichever you prefer. So we're going to start with our right foot. So we're going to ground our left foot into the ground, like roots of a tree. We're going to bring our right foot up to our calf. Or if you have the balance, you can bring it up by your thigh, above your knee. And balance. And you can bring your hands to heart center. And breathe. And then if you're feeling extra strong, you can grow your branches and sway side to side. Beautiful. Okay, and we're going to switch sides. Great, so now our right leg, our right foot is grounded into the earth, roots of the tree, and our left foot is up by our calf, or up by our thigh, above our knee. And we can bring our hands to heart center. And if you 
have the balance, we grow our branches. We sway side to side. And breathe. Beautiful. Okay, we'll come out of that. And we'll come on to our mat again. We're on our ground. And we're going to start lying down. We're going to swim like little fish. So we're going to bring our hands together and our arms up by our ears and look down. And with our feet together, we're just going to swim like little fish. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Beautiful. Nice job, everyone. All right, and now we're going to bring our hands by our chest. We're going to spread our fingers nice and wide. And we're going to bring our feet into our bum. We're going to kick our bum like this. We're going to lift our chest up. Kick, 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 kicking cobra. 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 Beautiful. All right, and now we're going to come up onto our hands and knees. And we're going to do our cat cow. So this one's a little bit tricky for little yogis. So it's more a pose for parents than I do. But if your child decides to model along with you, great. Um, or they can just join in doing our moo and meow. All right, so the first one, so our cow pose, so we're going to breathe in and open our chest up to the sky and look up. Move. 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 Great. All right, now we're going to exhale and arch our back up to the sky like an angry cat. And tuck our chin. Meow. 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 And move. Meow. Meow. And move. Very good. All right, now we're going to get into our down dog. So for this, we're going to tuck the toes and lift our hips up to the sky. Down dog. Down dog. You can bend your knees if that's a little more comfortable for you. Down dog. Down dog. Down dog. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to bend our knees to come down. And this last one, we're going to do a little crab walk. So this is when you'll need your little bean bag or lightly weighted material, a, a sandal or anything of the like. And so we're going to bring our hands behind us and lift our hips up like a table. And we can do a little crab walk. So try to keep our bean bag or our stuffing animal or our rice or whatever up as we walk. Like a crab. All right, and you can come down. Very good. And we'll close this practice off today with a little relaxation for parents. So if, you're, if you'd like to get into a savasana pose or a relaxation pose, you can lie down on your mat or ground and bring your feet together and let your 
feet just flop out to the side. And then you can rest your hands either on your tummy or down by your side. And if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. If you'd prefer to sit up and keep an eye on your child for this one, then you can do that as well. Sit up and either close your eyes or you can just fix your gaze down onto the floor. And just take a few moments to be still and focus on your breath. And if you're lying down on your mat, And take a deep breath in and out through your nose. Feel your weight on the floor. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head. Allow the skin to soften. Bring your awareness to your forehead. And allow the skin to feel soft and smooth. Allow your cheeks to soften. Release the jaw by allowing space between the upper and lower teeth. Let your head feel heavy on the floor. Soften the skin of your neck. Allow the throat to feel open. Soften the shoulders. Soften the skin on the arms, hands, and fingers. Soften the muscles of the chest and abdomen, sides of the waist, back body. Allow hips and legs to release towards the floor. From the soles of the feet to the crown of your head, allow your skin to be soft over your form. Give yourself permission to release any tension or tightness you feel anywhere in your body. And just breathe. You can stay here in this relaxation pose if you like. And I have a song to close off the class today. The time has come to end our yoga play. Goodbye for now. We say no more. The time has come to end our yoga play. Goodbye for now. We say namaste. Namaste, everyone, and thanks again for tuning in. Hope to see you all soon. Okay.